You got questions, we've got answers. Just ask Kenneth. Hey, what's going on everyone? It's time for another Ask Camp Kenan question. It's a kind of a casual Friday when I'm recording this, uh, but you notice that I do have the tractor back. Good old Crocodile Kyle, let me borrow it. Uh, that means I'm gonna be doing a lot. Uh, whenever I have the tractor, I tend to get involved in projects, so we'll be bringing those to you very soon. Oh, there's Pinky, she's looking real good. How you doing, girl? Oh yeah, you're tough, you're tough. Uh, but you know what? Today is an Ask Cam Kennan question day, and the question comes from William Parker. Good old Bill Parker. Uh, well, uh, Bill asks, Hey Cannon, at what size is a tortoise safe from most predators? It's a great question. And it's gonna vary from species to species because some species of tortoise we know don't really attain a size uh, that may be, <laughs> By the way, cherry head coming to get my foot. Uh, most tortoises, the, some tortoises don't attain a size that can actually be safe from certain predators in certain areas. We have to take into account what predators are where you live and how big does the species of tortoise get. Now, this is a cherry head tortoise and you can see right up against my foot, he's under a foot long. However, I feel really secure about putting him outside because he has attained his adult size. Uh, it has a very nice hard shell. And of course, I've taken uh, things into consideration living where I live to protect them against predators with my electric fence uh, and some other countermeasures like fences dug in real good and so on. Here comes a female coming to say hello as well. So basically, you can see the females are a little bit larger. So I like tortoises to be this size when I put them out. The thing is, is not all my tortoises get this big. Oh, getting a butt scratch. Hey now, hey now, butt scratch, I love it. Hey, get away from me. Everyone's starting to come over here. Uh, let's go look at some other species so I can kind of show you, uh, you know, what to expect. And in fact, let's go walk in over here and I'll show you what I've done. Now, not, I know that not everyone has um, the same facilities that I do to protect their animals, but these are things that I think as reptile lovers, we really need to be working towards. So if you're a young person right now, living at home, um, you know, do what I did, have this goal of grabbing or getting a home that you can build really fun things for your animals, right? And hold on to that goal so you guys can attain it because it is totally doable. Um, there are way smarter people than me that have done it. And there are way less intelligent people than myself uh, that have done this and you guys can do it too. So. How about that? There's Slinky. Hey, Slink, say hello to everyone. It's an Ask Camp Kennan question, but it's not about you. Although I do know you folks love the Slinks. Here's Guapo. Hi, Guaps. There's Lola. Hi, Lola. And the reason I brought you in here is because we have some young tortoises, okay? And turtles living in here. And as you can see, this is completely enclosed. So I have no real worries about predators. Now, look at Darth Maul babies, okay? These little ones here, very, very valuable, and they're also extremely vulnerable still to predation. They're about maybe five inches uh, full, like straight line, possibly a little more. I'm always bad with that measurement. But here they are, you see these little Darth Maul children. Um, so basically, you know, these guys are still too small. I'd like to get them a little bit bigger so that I can get them out uh, into an outdoor enclosure. Now, the Darth Mauls, obviously I'm not taking any chances with. Very important that these guys stay alive. Uh, and they're just doing beautifully. Hey, and they're friendly. Whenever I walk in here, they come right over. So, you know, I'm thinking a few inches, five inches, still too small for most tortoises in my area because I have bobcat, fox, we have raccoons, possum, we've got um, birds of prey, uh, cougar, who knows? It's possible. Here's another Darth Maul child right there. Hello. I forgot to take this out. I'll get on that shortly. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, nobody in there. Where are my Chinese box turtle babies? Or juveniles, rather. Let's see. Oh, here are a few in the water. There are a couple in the water right there. And there's the fourth Darth Maul child right over there. And, oh, there you go. So you can see these guys right here. They're, uh, you know, kind of small. We want to keep these guys 
uh, protected. So even the Chinese box turtles, I, I didn't want to put them out with the rest of them over by the aquascape pond because I still feel like a bird can kind of pluck these guys off the ground or a raccoon uh, could definitely come in and make their lives, well, not miserable. They can kind of ruin their lives, kind of like end them. Uh, and we don't want that, do we? So look, I'll just give you an idea. Here's a little Chinese box turtle here. And this is still one of the larger ones. Um, but in another year, I would say this tortoise is going to be fine to go out. Okay, so again, um, I don't want to take any chances with these guys. Uh, they're an endangered species. And of course, I don't care if it's a red eared slider or a radiated tortoise. We got to do the right thing by the individual animal. And that's not really good because you can't see it. There you go. But let's go look around. Uh, and see some more tortoises. These are kind of like some young ones that I definitely have protected. So we don't want to, uh, we don't want to leave with just that, everybody. We want to show you more. That's what I'm all about. Oh, Slinx is out. Yeah, man, that's my feet, dude. Stop looking at my feet in the sandals like that. <laughs> we don't want to have a happy accident, right? No, definitely not. Okay, we're walking, we're walking. Let's see. So I would suggest on a smaller scale, if you can do it, is making sure that whatever enclosure you have for your offspring and you wanna keep them outside, you do something like this. You know, you get a screen over the top. We've got some baby snake necks in here. Uh, these little guys are doing well, um, but you know, I've got a completely enclosed habitat for them. All right, so they're not gonna get eaten up by birds or any other animals. Uh, walking a little bit further here. We got another small species, the leopard tortoise, which I've been doing a lot of work in their enclosures. But I want to show you, it's the hardiness of their shells. You know, males get are smaller than females in this species. So let's look at the snow leopards who are out of the sun in their new enclosure. And you can really see, he's not a huge tortoise, but he's very strong, strong shell. No one's going to pick him up and uh, can't break through the shell. None of the predators that live here. And remember, this is a tortoise that has to contend with lions. So uh, these guys are got a really well-developed shell and they're really, really tough. So there you have it, everyone. So William, ah, Bill, I just got poked. Ah, yeah, it's Canary Island date palm. And uh, see these? These will ruin your day. Don't poke into those. And if they break off and you get an infection, it's not pleasant. All right. So, uh, oh, back down here. Can you guys hear me now? Because, you know, the microphone. I got to be conscientious of that mic. We don't want to annoy the heck out of everybody. Uh, so there you have it, everyone. I think that pretty much sums up uh, the size issues. It depends on where you live. Depends on the species. If we're talking about Russian tortoises or Greek tortoises or Herman's tortoises or marginated tortoises, they don't attain a full size uh, in some places that can withstand certain animals, uh, like fox or bobcat or stuff like that. But uh, if we're talking about my next tortoise, uh, once they've reached a certain size, there ain't nothing getting these guys. Of course, I am talking about the beautiful Sulcata tortoise. And that's my big girl. How big is she? She's about 130 pounds. And she is one cute mama. Hi, baby. She's just grazing on some grass. I'm just gonna enjoy this hot Florida fall day. And you guys may have learned something, I hope. Uh, there you have it, a little walkabout. We know that we got the tractor back in town, so that's gonna be exciting. We've got tortoises, we've got lizards. I think we've done a fun video. Uh, all right, so here's the deal. Please, if you enjoy these videos and enjoy the channel, go to patreon.com slash campkennon. Help support us. Uh, we are very appreciative of our Patreon supporters, and that's what we're doing today, giving a little bit back to you guys, uh, answering questions that our Patreon supporters may have. So thank you very much for doing that. And uh, yeah, like and subscribe. We'll see you later. And I leave you with this. That's a healthy poop. <laughs>